There is nothing like a father's love. Despite getting stuck in a storm, one traveled 27 miles, most of it by foot, to be there on his daughter's wedding day. 10 News anchor Sam Perez spoke with the man and the beautiful bride. How far would a father's love go? For David Jones, 27 miles through a hurricane to walk his daughter down the aisle. I spent some time with him to hear about his determination to be there on her big day. Every dad wants to walk his daughter down the aisle, so I got my chance. David Jones hit the road Friday night, heading to his daughter Elizabeth's wedding in South Carolina. That's usually a two-hour drive. It didn't occur to me that there would be any trouble. But around 2 a.m., when he got to a crumbled bridge in Unicoi County, he got stuck in Irwin. It's incomprehensible, the destruction, the, 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 this complete missing bridge and the gap and the rushing water underneath. Jones, a marathon runner, was determined to get there, even if it meant walking the rest of the way to the church. But I thought, yeah, it's 20 or 30 miles, I can do this. Um, and so off I went. He says he fell waist deep into sand. He climbed roots and trekked through mud and ran into law enforcement officers who advised him to turn around. His response? And I said, well, you don't understand. My daughter's getting married at 11 o'clock this morning and I'm going to be there to walk her down the aisle. Jones says he traveled about 17 miles on foot and hitched a ride from a trooper and a passerby for the remaining 10 miles, finally arriving at the church at 7.30 a.m. Dad was doing his dad thing and taking every measure he could to be there, but I had no idea. Nice, mm -hmm. that's a good photo. He walked me down the aisle. Yeah, it meant the world because I'm really close with my dad. We're uh, so similar and he's always been there for me. Walking miles for that memory. In Johnson City, I'm Sam Perez. And after that happy ending, Elizabeth and her husband are now on their way to Hawaii from Atlanta for their honeymoon. Wow, what a great story.